Desolate Wasteland, Episode 7. By Ormac 48. They know that. How do you know they know that? Well, I guess they do now. Exactly. All right, everybody, I've made it back to the house. I've added a roof, as you can see. I'm up here so you can see it. Um, the tainted land is moving in on me. It's over here. I noticed that on the way back here that the tainted land is moving in, and it will eventually consume the whole area. So, oh, creepers. Tainted creepers. So, what I'm going to have to do here is um I can't have the land touch my house so eventually I'm gonna have to take my house and dig out underneath it and all the way around it so that my house is kind of hovering here so I'm gonna dig like a deep pit around my house but and probably put a ladder coming up it so if I do fall in I can get out of it and maybe I'll put water in it. Uh, but I'm going to have to try to figure out a way that I could get across. Maybe I'll make it to, I'll make it out to here. So that I could get across and jump over and get in my house. But I might do that off camera just because that's going to be a lot of digging and a lot of boringness. Um, but right now, what I want to do is, I mean, I could show you what I've done upstairs so far. Which is, you know, kind of cool. I've got it all. And I don't know why I'm starting to lag now. This computer should not lag. This is a beefed up computer. But I go down here and what I want to do is I want to make... Well, I guess i got to go up here first. I need some stone. And I don't know if I've actually made stone yet. Yes, I got stone. Okay. I'm going to make, it is called a, a barrel, I believe. Um, barrel. I guess that's how you spell it, or is it 1L? 1L. A stone barrel. Yeah. Okay, I was on the right path there. So we're going to have to make some stone slabs, put a slab there, stone barrel, alright, got a stone barrel, let's go downstairs here, and let's put our stone barrel, hmm, let's stick it in the corner, stick our stone barrel there, and Let's use these other slabs that we got here. Okay. Ah, the water's dripping from up top, and I don't like that. I think if we put some slabs on the ceiling, that might stop it. I don't have enough. Should have used the stone slabs so they blend it in. Yeah, let's do that. Let's use the cobblestone slabs so they blend in. Or else it'll irk me too. Gosh, now I need more of them. What is going on today? I don't prepare myself ahead of time. And that's what I really need to do, but... Alright. Now we need water. Let's get some water. Let's put some water above that. Now let's take some of this. And we'll put it in that stone barrel. And it made, how do we get that out of there though? Yep, see, and that is obsidian. So now I can make some obsidian tools. Uh, all I have to do is just come over here, grab some lava, throw it in there, click it again, and I get an obsidian now. So now I have a way to get obsidian without having the tools to mine obsidian. And wasting a lot of resources to do it. And this is going to bother me too. This floor here. Okay. 
Okay, let's uh, turn this over to Cabo. Just so when I start digging, I know where everything is, and I don't go making a big nightmarish mistake. All right. All right, there we are. And the dirt's going to bother me too, but whatever. We'll fix that later. So now we got a way to make obsidian. All right. So I can make obsidian now. And let's check. Okay, going back to the... Oh, this over matter overdrive. There is a pad. It's called a pad. And I think that is the yeah, data pad. That is like one of the main things for this matter overdrive. Now, I know I got a lot of these from taking apart the spaceships. A book I can easily make if I don't have a book already. I got 42 books. Okay. Okay. That's because I went in a village and I took apart the um, library. Okay. So I got a book. And let's see, we don't need a crucible, so I can throw that in there. Don't need a cauldron, put that in there. And it was the book, and then MK1s, where are they at? I got eight of them, so I think I can spare one. All right. Book, MK1, and Data pad! Look at that. Now let's see what this thing does. Because I have no clue. Um, whoa! What was that all about? Let's hold it in so it happens. Um, matter 2 point. What's it doing? I don't know what it's doing. But. Let's see, if you click it off in a distance, though, it pretty much tells you everything about this matter overdrive. Um, the resources, the matter, power, which is, haha, we're going to, I'm going to want power. Um, matter replicators and decomposers, and I, does it tell you about it? Yeah, see, it tells you all about it. Uses transporter technology to materialize item patterns into their physical counterpart. Whatever. Yeah, now we're getting into stuff I I have no clue about. Okay, okay, that button goes back. Oh, we scroll down too. Items. So it's going to tell us about all the items, upgrades, contract. What's a contract? No info. Oh, that's not helpful. Okay. Matter, what's um, resources? Did I got food? Because that was down here. Food. Because there was a that pill that I picked up. I have no clue about what's a security protocol. The security protocol is used to secure machines in matter of drive. It can secure almost every usable machine. Once a machine is secured, it can only be destroyed or accessed by the owner and anybody else who has access to protocol you have to get a blank one and click it while sneaking this will cycle through all the security protocol types okay well that absolutely makes no sense to me Android what's that machines Android station and a charging station Ooh, there's the pill pills no info charging station no info Android station no info uh, they don't help you out much in this. Okay, rogue android parts. Rogue androids can drop rogue android parts. They consist of four parts, the android head, arm, leg, and torso. They are used in the process of android transformation. And the player collects a full set of android parts and brings them to a mad scientist in a village. Oh, man. The player can be transformed into an android? What? Once the android player... Once an android, the player can wear the parts by putting them in the appropriate slots in the android station. 
I need to see, I need a village, I need to see a mad scientist. But I think every village I've gone to has been overtaken by tainted land. No! Uh, I need to find a new village. Um, that I want to do. I wonder if I could do that like right now. I'm going to eat. Okay. I noticed I was hurting there. Okay, so we got that charge and station, and I guess needs this. I need to be an android to operate the android station. Ooh, we need to find a mad scientist. All right. So at least we're getting a little bit into the matter overdrive part here. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I've already found. Um, machine wise like these, um, these there's a lamp I think they're in my other box here like this matter replicator I got a matter network switch star maps uh, a rail I don't know what that is weapon stations molecular inscriber uh, let's let's throw one of them down and see what it's all about Let's see. Let's um put it in front of. The, see if it gets any power to it. Apparently not. All right. Might might have to pipe it in. Or this is dead. Yeah, that's dead. That needs uh. Guess that's gonna need coal. Let's see. Do I have any of the coal? Um, I might have thrown coal coke. Let's see if it takes coal coke. Let's see. Does it? It takes the coal coke. Oh, I'm in the inscriber. Need to be in a generator. Let's take half of it and stick it in there. Okay, so now this thing should power up. Yeah, this thing should already be powered. This thing, who knows? That's not just a weapon station. This thing's powering up. I don't know what it does. Maybe it tells us in the data pad that we need. Let's see. Molecular. Gotta click off in a distance. Molecular inscriber. Let's go. Um, how do I go back out of this? Let's go basic. Machines, um, molecular inscriber. The molecular inscriber is the only machine precise enough to create the intricate circuitry of the isolinear chips. It requires RF power and the appropriate base isolinear circuit with an inscribing material. Each tier has its inscribing material. Okay, so that's gold, diamond, emerald. Okay, I see. So one takes the gold, two takes diamonds, and the three takes the emerald. All right, but we already have them chips. I mean, is that all it does? Because if that's all it does, we already have the chips. All right. So let's let's see what it takes to make that molecular inscriber. Um. Molecular. I get in case you guys need to make one. It takes a machine casing, which is titanium ingots and a titanium plate. Oh my god. Titanium plate, you need this forge hammer, which I really need to make. Okay. Iron ingots and two treated sticks. Let's go make that because I'm pretty sure I have the treated sticks already. Uh, what would I have done with them now? Uh, treated sticks. Treated. No, that's not treated. There's treated wood. Uh, use that. And iron ingots. Got iron ingots. 
think that's what it took. That's the sticks. How many sticks was that? Like a inscriber, uh, uh, a forge hammer. Two sticks. Let's ratify that. Okay. Two sticks. Trying to buy iron, and that gives us our forge hammer. And what is so special about the forge hammer? Let's find out. What can it do? What happens if we um, knock a bust my floor up? Let's put that there. Let's see what it does. It's pretty useless with busting stuff, I guess. Because that's taking... No! It destroyed it. Alright. Uh... So what if you take it and put it in a crafting table and mix stuff with it? Nothing. Iron. So iron, it gives me an iron plate. Okay. It gives me iron plates. Uh, it does nothing with stone. It does nothing with cobble. I guess it would probably work with copper. Probably give me copper plates. Um... Okay, I'm getting way too much in my inventory now, because I never put nothing away. Kind of like my house, Whew, a mess. All right. So I'm guessing it does the same thing with the copper. Let's see, and did I just see? No, it's just a regular stick. Yeah, okay, so it, it kind of makes the plate, it's like a, you know, smash, I don't know why I just did that, I didn't want to do that, what a, ugh, what a dummy, I'll just stick it in there, oh my god, I didn't want to do that, too late now, did it now, I did it now, okay, we got cobble scattered everywhere, whole hogging spots, that there okay we got our obsidian just out of curiosity no but what I could do with this obsidian is stick it in here and melt it down and I can make my obsidian ingots so we could start I can, I gotta get a forge table made, and once I get the forge table made, then we can start making some really good tools with the Tinker's Construct. Now we got an infinite source, uh, sort of an infinite source, as, as long as we got lava being made. You know, we got a way to make obsidian, and it's just, bam. Come back over, and it's going to keep doing that to me. And just whoop, bam, there we are. So it's just, I just got to keep the lava filling. I might put another one next to it, so I can have two buck, two things of lava sources going. And I do have another crucible upstairs. Let's just do that. Uh, we got some transfer pipes. Um, we're going to need a, a torch. We got torches. Let's go put another one right next to that one. Real quick. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, well let's not do that. Because that's where my lava is. Let's do it when... Can we do it on this side without the water running everywhere? Yes, we can. Alright. Let's do it on this side then. 
Let's put that there like that. Let's get rid of this. And I do believe I can hook it right to that one. And I would have had to put a torch under it. Let's put that torch under there. Put our floor back. And we should be getting lava in both of these now. Let's see. It says fluid volume. Yes, yeah, so it, it's filling with lava. It's got 31 uh, millibuckets or Minecraft buckets or whatever. I don't know. Whatever you say. But it's, it's got to get up to a thousand to get one bucket. So we got that going. And I'm going to end the video here. Um, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, thank you guys so much. I really do greatly appreciate it. And maybe next time if we could get into something a little bit more interesting. And maybe get some obsidian tools made. But in the meantime, I'm going to end the video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm out of here. Bye. Thanks for watching. Now everybody subscribe to Ormax channel. Okay, I got a sub. I what do I gotta get a pen? What do you need a pen for? To write on the sub so I can subscribe to Ormax channel. Hey, don't you just click the button? What button? I don't see a button on my sub. On the internet. You goof, you go to YouTube, click the subscribe button on Ormax 48's channel. Oh, so it has nothing to do with a sandwich? No. So I can eat it then? Yeah. All right. This is good. Disgusting.